Virgo, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late May 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's going on for the lovely Virgo Collective. I hope you're all doing fabulous, my friends. Let's shuffle it up one time, see what's going on this week, my gods and spirit team. For the Virgos. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on. Which is always interesting. But let's get it going. Let's rock. Let's see what's going on for the Virgos, please, my guides. Let's get it going nice and quick for my friends. Okay, yeah. Ooh, we have the Femme Fatale showing up. I always love when she visits. Very beautiful, sexy, confident. Okay, this could be speaking about one's self-confidence as well, but there's a little danger, there's a little warning to this card. Now, before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the May subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo, into the reading. Have a look at this lovely lady in red. So you see her there. She's holding a rose, there's a cardinal, there's other symbolism here though, there's Venus fly traps. So it's important to really look at all the different symbolism. Now, like I said, to me, this is a big card of self-confidence, okay? So there might be certain things and situations you're going through that require self-confidence. Maybe you're feeling very good about yourself, confident, sexy, beautiful, whatever it might be. But I really like this card. Now, there can also be an edge of temptation, with this card like if you've been refraining from things recently spirit could be saying like hey that might look tempting that might seem good but there could be a little danger there so this could be a little bit of a warning whenever femme fatale shows up but it could also represent beauty and confidence so just take it however it hits for you maybe you're changing something with your aesthetics as well very similar to the queen of wands when i see her but let's get into tarot i always say that first card doesn't make or break the reading it's just a footnote I'm going to get you three of these in the upright before we get the intuitive juiciness flowing. Time to get a good shuffle, though. What do we got here for the Virgos? Late May. Talk to me, my guides. So, last week's reading was titled A Surprising Talk, and it does seem like in recent weeks there's been some challenges in the Virgo energy. It's all good, though. But, yeah, you could have been having some interesting conversations in recent days, and that could still spill over into this coming week. So we're going to see what we have for you. You know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you, right? Because we could be seeing your energy or someone you're connected to. But let's get it going. Let's get you three cards here to start us off. What's up with Virgo? It's rock. Okay, yeah, Dex being a little specific. And for those of you new here, I only read jumpers. Okay, yeah, there's that fiery energy leading us off. King of Wands in position number one. This has been a very common card in Earth Signs this week. So we'll see what's up with him. Let's get two more. What do we got here for Virgo, please? Thank you. Eight of Pentacles, very diligent, hardworking. There could be something you're really committing to. This could represent work and monetary things. I'm liking the energy so far. I'm cautiously optimistic. Let's get one more. Thank you. Okay. So you're going to have a bonus as well. We have the devil on the back end, huh? So here's that little bit of a challenge energy, and this, once again, could also represent temptation, which now, that's the second time it's showing up. And as a bonus, we got the Page of Swords. So a very interesting mixture of energy we got happening here. So let's go through, I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into those juicy, intuitive messages. Now, at first glance, like I said, I was feeling very positive and optimistic here, and then this little curveball devil showed up. We have a lot of Earth. The devil, even though you would think that's fire, that's earthy energy. So your focus could really be on the material, work, tasks, things that you're committed to, family. Or you could just be all about the money for some reason. And we have court cards galore. Now, position number one, let's go through one at a time. We have the knight of the king of wands, pardon me. It's a little more evolved than the knight. When we see the king of wands, it could represent a fire sign in your life. So Aries, Leo, Sag. If not, this is a very entrepreneurial type of energy. So you might be very much business minded, especially next to this Eight of Pentacles. You might be working towards your own business or money ventures, stuff like that. 
The King of Wands controls what they put their effort into. So when we see this card show up very first in this reading, yes, it's fiery, combustible energy, but this could be Spirit asking you to really hone in what you're putting your energy towards. Are you putting your energy towards worthwhile things? Are you wasting your energy? Is something a distraction? Is something worthwhile? These are questions you might want to ask yourself when the King of Wands shows up. But like I said, shot caller type of energy. So you could be stepping into some confidence, which is good. So we're seeing little connections to this femme fatale already right here in the first part of this reading. Now, as we move over, we have the Eight of Pentacles. One of my favorite cards in the whole entire deck. This is a card of hard workers. It's a card of diligence and mastery and craftsmen. When we see the Eight of Pentacles, we think of dedication. Now, simply, this could just, depending on what clarifies it, represent your work situation right now. So things going on at work, what you do for money, things you might want to switch up in that realm. But when I see this, I think of somebody working very hard towards something, putting energy forth which is very good. You could be keeping yourself very busy, keeping your hands busy. So not a bad energy by any stretch, okay? Now, all cards do have positive and negative. Sometimes, remember I was saying, are you putting your energy towards worthwhile things? Are you working too hard? Are you too f focused on things? As we get to the back end, this is where we get that little curveball energy, especially with the devil and the page of swords right next to each other. Now, the devil on the back end could be a whole host of different things. This could just represent a Capricorn in your life, and Capricorn gets this card because of the goat symbolism. That's it. We're not calling our Capricorn friends devils by any means. We love our Capricorn friends. But this card, aside from that connection could represent things that have been lingering for a very long time. There's extremes with this card as well. This could represent toxicity. This could represent addictions. This could represent obsessive thoughts or obsessive ways of acting. This could be very toxic individuals. So there might be warnings about specific people when the devil shows up. But remember what I said about temptation in the very beginning. You see this devil energy, you could talk about something coming in and tempting you in a very big way, someone or something. So we're really going to want to dive deeper on this devil because there could be a couple of little warnings attached. Now, as we get to the very, very back end, real quick, we have the Page of Swords. Could represent an air sign, could represent a child. Page of Swords could be communicators and talkers, of course. But I always call this the Spy of the Tarot deck. So this could be someone under your microscope or you could be under somebody else's microscope. Someone could have eyes on when this card shows up. And I will say this, the Page of Swords has been in a lot of the signs this week. So we're just going to put that to the side. Let's dive deeper on all this action, Virgo. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, so we're going to get a good shuffle here for my Virgo friends, please. My God, it's going on. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message means I just tell you how it feels to me so feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot because as you know every single reading is about the reader's interpretation and I'm just giving you mine let's go in on that king of wands and yes if you're a reader yourself please feel free to play along that's why the box is here if you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Virgo you could drop it in the comments I don't mind at all all right king of wands time why is that king here please Nice and quick. We're going to keep this reading moving, right? Oh, we got the King of Cups, a.k.a. Kyle of Cups himself without a beard, but showing up in reverse, huh? Now, another interesting thing, been seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of kings in this week's readings for all the zodiac signs. Now, before I fully break down what I'm initially feeling here, I need to just remind everybody that kings represent control of their respective suit. So when we see the king of cups in reverse, to me, under the king of wands, this is somebody getting super fired up because this is a softer, relaxed, more calm energy. This is fired up, ready to go. So I could see somebody losing their temper. There could be some sort of explosive overflow of energy right an emotional eruption an emotional explosion when we have all this stuff this could be somebody's feelings going sour so we could be seeing somebody that's angry or upset or mad right here in the front end like getting ticked off so in the coming days and weeks there might be somebody or something that's getting under your skin more than it usually does and there, you might address it you might be prone to make some action here for a portion of you yeah maybe you're just having issues or 
battling it out with a water sign for whatever reason. But it is giving me that little bit of volatility, like, all right, no more Mr. Nice Guy or gal. That's the energy. So an emotional overflow or eruption, or like I said, this could be somebody who's losing their cool and is pretty angry or upset. So we're going to keep pressing forward. I'm not going to really talk this one into the ground. It is what it is. Could be you, could be someone else, who knows, right? Let's see what's up with that Eight of Pentacles. Very, very interesting, my friends. And I've been seeing this little volatile energy in a lot of signs as well. But let's see what's going on with this Eight of Pentacles. There's a little bit of disgruntledness right there in the front end. Like somebody losing their cool. Queen of Pentacles, and all right. This feels very, very good to me, my friends. Now notice, I do have to mention... Now we have every single element out here, which is another theme I've been seeing this week. We got fire, we got water, we got earth, we have air. So all of the elements are here, which can be very good in balance. But remember, this could be telling us that we're looking at different areas of life in this spread. Sure, it could be one whole story. But the Queen of Pentacles to me is a card of blessings. It's stability. It's earthly abundance. So under this card, like, yeah, this could be somebody that's like upset, angry, whatever. I don't think it's going to last long. If that's you, if you did lose your cool or whatever, there's not going to be like crazy, insane fallout because this writes the ship right here in the middle. This feels like somebody, you know, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep moving with this Queen of Pentacles. This is a card of blessings and diligence. Remember, like I said, so for a portion of you, your hard work can pay off. If you're dedicated and working hard towards something, you have a goal, you have a task in mind, that could pay off in a very, very big way for you when I catch this middle alignment. And I do feel like this stabilizes things as well, like all this little mayhem we have in the beginning. This could be a person stabilizing, maybe you're stabilizing it in some sort of way, like playing peacemaker. We're going to see what's going on, or you're just unfazed, right? If this is how somebody's feeling right here and that's you, you might just be unfazed. Like, okay, yeah, you can feel how you want about that. Let's keep moving over to the devil. Then we'll do a quick little recap before we get the shadow card. Very interesting reading this week, my friends. But let's see why that devil's here. Like I said, that could be representing some sort of warning when we have the devil showing up. So what, what's it doing here? Why is this devil here? As the train rolls through in the background, gotta love that sound. Okay, yeah, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, yeah, I'm getting somebody feeling a little discouraged here or falling back into old patterns and habits. Somebody that might feel like they're losing their way, losing their focus. That's a big thing I'm feeling back here. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that's you. That could just be someone you're closely connected to. This could be somebody caving into some sort of temptation as well right especially if they've been trying to refrain so in this time please like try to stay steadfast if there's things that you know are not good for you because this could be somebody caving to that but a big thing i'm picking up is somebody just like like really losing their gusto or really losing their confidence about something which isn't the best the ace of wands in reverse with the devil this could also represent somebody who's thinking dirty dirty things if you know what i mean Right? This could be someone whose mind is all the way in the gutter. All right, So take whichever message hits for you. I just have to give you that. Right, So I'm not going to comment on that. It is what it is. Right, But this is a family program. We're going to keep it moving. All right, So just watch out. Yeah, If this is the same person that's up here, still this little bit of unfazed feeling in the center is showing up. But let's go through and do a quick little recap, my friends. If you kindly look in the box, tons of court cards here. We have every element represented in this week's spread. But position number one, we have the King of Wands with the King of Cups without a beard showing up in reverse. To me, this did feel like some sort of emotional eruption or somebody losing their cool, losing their temper. There could be somebody who's upset, angry, or mad for whatever the case. Now, moving to the center, we have this very dedicated, someone working hard and diligent towards something. For a lot of you, if you've been really pushing your energy towards something, it can pay off for you. There could be some sort of blessing coming in as well. But amidst all this stuff on the ends, I feel like this earthy energy in the center is a little bit unfazed. So whether this person's mad, this person's doing that, that person's doing that, you might be very even keel, unbothered. Okay, moving to the very back end, we do have the devil with the ace of wands in reverse. To me, this did feel like somebody losing motivation. Could be a little like depression or somebody falling back into old patterns or habits, caving to temptation in some sort of way. 
But also, I give that little side message, this could be somebody whose mind is all the way in the gutter for whatever reason. So do it that way you will, my friends. Let's get you one shadow card here. Let's shuffle it up and see what's in the shadows for you. That's just the vibe. I mean, that could be somebody that's super attracted to, right? Like, especially with this. And then we have the page watching on. Page likes to watch, right? Let's get you one shadow card. Let's see what's going on for Virgo, please. What's in the shadows for my friends? Okay. Yeah, we have the Seven of Cups showing up in the shadows. Very thought-based type of energy. Now, remember, when we look at a shadow card... This can be a behavior. This could be something from the past, but it could be something you don't you don't quite see as well. This is a big card that speaks of options, paths, and choices. So in this time, spirit could be saying like, hey, you might have a lot of ways to go, or this can go a lot of different ways. It's up to you to make the right choice, right decision. There may have been times in the past where you made the wrong judgment call. That's okay. We're only human. But another thing here, this card could represent somebody being trapped in their mind, trapped in their thoughts, overthinking. So in this time, please make sure you're not thinking yourself into paralysis, right? That's like a big thing with this card. So yeah, Virgo, that's what I have for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the May subscriber surprise. For the May subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two boxes of the beautiful Tarot of the Owls. This is an awesome deck. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed, which I'm sure you already are. And second, let me know down in the comments, out of all the cards in this week's reading, which one spoke to you the most. You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, I will announce the winners in my community tab at random. As always, my friends, much love to you. And I'll see you next time.